Hi, Ellen. Thank you for having me. Uh. It's an honor to be here. I watch your show all the time. I got a bag of Alabama peanuts backstage for you. Oh, well, thanks. And my, and my homeboy Twitch over here. Yep, that's right. <laughs> He has never been prouder to be from Alabama as uh, as the other day. Um, let's let's first start where uh, you decided to protest. Did you? When did you make that decision, and why did you decide to do that? Well, I protested in honor of my daughter Patty Sue Mathis, who was gay. She committed suicide, and I just said, I wonder how Patty'd feel today. Here's a man running for United States Senate who said that gay people are perverts, gay people committing a crime because they're gay. That's why I did what I did. I wanted, to, I wanted people to realize that Sears, a United States senator that feels that way about people, he's going to hold his hand up and say, I uphold the Constitution. The Constitution said all men are created equal. And that's the way they should be treated. Gay people have rights just like people who are not gay. Uh, well, Patty Sue would be very, very, and is very proud of you. I can tell you that. Um, and I know that you had a hard time at first when she told you that she was gay. That was not an easy thing for you to accept. And that, to me, makes it even more beautiful that you've turned around your opinion. Well, due to teachings I had as I grew up, I, when I found out Patty was gay, it was the end of her senior year in school, and I showed my ass. I really did. And, uh, I regret it very much. About three months later, Patty came to me and said, I don't want to be gay. Will you help me get some help? And so I said, sure. That just shows you how naive I was. I made an appointment at UAB Hospital in Birmingham, took Patty up to the hospital. They did all kind of blood work on her that day. The doctor called us in about 3.30. He said, young lady, there's not a thing we can do about the way you are. There's nothing we can do. You're just who you are. And I said, man, this doctor must be crazy. We took her to other doctors, psychiatrists. Everyone told my daughter, Patty, you can't help the way you are. That's what made me change. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing that people think that we're, we're not supposed to be who we're born to be and that we're supposed to change to, to please other people. And I'm sorry that your daughter, I'm sorry I didn't get to meet her. I'm sorry that she didn't get to see the world that we're living in now that gets better and better and because of people like you who are opening up their minds. And um, you must be very excited that this, uh, this election went the way it did. I'm very excited it, it went the way it did. The last thing we needed was Roy Moore in Washington. Roy Moore needs to be somewhere getting psychiatric help. That's where he needs to be. Yep, yep, he does. Yep. Well, uh, I know that this, this was a big victory. There's a lot more to do. Uh, I think uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff going on that I know. Will, will you use your voice? Will you do this more? Because, you, I mean, look, look at the attention you got. Well, see, I didn't have any idea what kind of attention I was going to have. First of all, I didn't know I would even get down there where the event was. I, I had my sign in the truck. And, and uh, I pulled in where they were parking people, and I asked the man, I said, look, I realize this is private property, but I have a sign I would like to take down to the event if I could. You had to go about a half a mile down this dirt road to get down to the big barn. And he said, sure, a lot of people are taking signs. Well, he just didn't look at my sign. He thought I had a, <laughs> he thought I had a, I love Roy Moore sign. <laughs> Next thing you know, I was down there amongst them with the signs. So that's what happened. That's how that came about. I didn't, that's the first time I'd ever done anything like that, but I felt like it needed to be done. Your sign said, Judge Roy Moore called my daughter Patty Sue Mathis a pervert because she was gay. A 32-year-old Roy Moore dated teenage girls ages 14 to 17, so that makes him a pervert of the worst kind. Please don't vote for Roy Moore. And so you were holding that. First of all, you couldn't even get that sign made, right? You were trying to get that sign made. No, I called a local sign maker uh, as I came through Atlanta and asked him to make a sign for me. And he said he would. And so I texted him what I wanted on the sign, which is what you just read. Then about an hour later, when I thought I was fixing to go get the sign, 
I discovered he had texted me back and he said, I can't make that sign for you. I have a son who's in the gay community and he's rebelled against God and I just can't do such a thing as that. Well, I knew a little bit about this man's life and who, how he's lived it. So I texted him back and I said, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but God also says you shouldn't be living with another man's wife. Oh, man, I like you a lot. Um, <laughs> come back again anytime you want. Sit in the audience, whatever you want. And, and you don't have to bring peanuts, but I do like peanuts. So please, because you're a peanut farmer, right? I'm a peanut farmer, and it's an honor to be here, right. Ellen. And a lot more people watch your show than you realize. And a lot of us old peanut farmers, we cut them tractors off and go home and watch our favorite <laughs> shows. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> so, I want to tell you about this organization that uh, you're going to love. It's called the Trevor Project. It focuses on preventing suicide for at-risk LGBTQ youth. It has uh, resources like counseling, 24-hour uh, hotline. You can text them for help. Shutterfly loves organizations like the Trevor Project. So we're going to donate $25,000 in honor of your daughter, Patty, Patty Sue. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, for more information about the Trevor Project, go to our website. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!